This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, welcome to another Painting with Rob. Today we are going to be taking care of the aliens from the new Alien vs. Predator The Hunt Begins 2nd Edition. Now, I've talked a little bit about these in my review, but we're actually going to paint up the aliens today and show you how to do that in a quick, easy way that anybody can do. So if you happen to get this game and you're afraid to paint them, let me show you how easy it is and you'll have a lot of fun and I think you'll really enjoy it. So without further ado, let's go down to the table in 4K. Okay, so this is the first time we're going to try to shoot in 4K. It's the whole reason that we went and got the new camera so we can really upgrade things. Now you can see there's a whole bunch of different cool poses here. So I'm going to do my best to really bring this out and make sure that you guys are able to see everything that you can with this. Now this is very very simple. You can see these have some very colored bases here or, or different bases than the old versions. So they got some unique poses here like this guy's going through some machinery and stuff like that. So we're going to have to offset some things. Now the first thing you want to do is take some lead belcher and you're going to want to uh, just dry brush everything you see in sight. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now for this, all you're going to want to do is just take your brush and get a big old glob of paint on. Uh, for those of you that have never done this before. And what you're going to do is you're just going to get most of that paint off, believe it or not. Now, I'm using a bigger brush uh, and there's a reason for that. The reason I'm using a bigger brush is because everything I'm going to paint on here is going to be this lead belcher. And I'm not afraid to use it so as you can see I'm just going in here and really just getting that metallic paint in there and I'm not taking all the black away of course I'm dropping these things as much as I possibly can now you can see the alien now is coming out because basically they have that kind of silver tone to them now you don't want to lose any of that black underneath so you're gonna wanna just really make sure that you took as much as that paint as you could off because you want to leave that black in there and I'll show you why in a little bit and we're just gonna easily go over his arms and look how nice that that is I mean you could just play with these just the way they are right now because they're basically that's the color that they basically almost are but we're gonna do some more things to these guys and just pick up another one pick up any one that you want and and as you can see, you just take it. And you see, I don't have a lot of paint on here. I'm leaving that black underneath. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to just keep dry brushing. And as you can see, I'm just taking, I'm actually taking it from the paper now. All that excess so you don't waste anything. And I'm just working it in that those areas. And that's all we're trying to do is just get it in there. So we have... You know, we don't take all the black away. We don't want to take all the black away. We just want to be able to get that little bit of silver highlight underneath there. Because as you know, they kind of glisten a bit. All right, I'm going to finish the rest of these up and we'll come back. So as you can see, this is what we got right now. Once, once that all dries, and it dries pretty quickly because after all, it's just a dry brush. So the next thing we want to do is, if you remember the movies, they always have this kind of like bluish tinge to them, especially in the second, third. It almost has a touch of purple in some way. So we're going to go with a Dragonoff Nightshade. Okay, it's actually a wash, and we're going to put it over just the alien himself. So let me just dump a little of this on here and show you what we're going for, or the effect to which we are trying to apply. And as you can see, if you notice, now all of a sudden he has that kind of kind of skin like in the movies. And that's what we're looking for. But we're not going to be done there, folks. No way. We're going to put all this on this big fella here. 
And now you can, you can see the difference between the base and the alien himself and by just applying this shade on ever so lightly. And don't worry about if you get it on the bottom of the base. It isn't going to kill it for crying out loud or drop it like I just did. Our whole mission here is just to get it. And you see how his tail comes around. So you want to make sure that you get it on his tail and just work it around because they're not silver they have I don't know what color they are It'd be nice if I learned how to hold on to things huh all right and that really stand, stood out a bit but let's see how on this particular guy where it'll really pop out and, and, and make sure that you see it there we go that's what we're looking for see how his head is and hopefully this will translate onto video after all we bought a nice camera just so we can make videos specifically like this when we're painting dark figures and all you're gonna do is just move this all around nice and easy there we go and just work that into the tail and again back onto the legs on the other side of the leg and it, and it gives them a nice a nice color right now it's darkening him up again after we just lightened him up but we have just a little bit more that we're gonna do especially when this wash particularly dries and there we go and anybody can do this this is just so easy this is such an easy easy thing to do and, and you get such a positive result out of it all right we're gonna let these dry I'm gonna finish up the rest of these and then we'll show you what's next now, while you're waiting for the bases to dry, I, I mean the aliens to dry from the wash, as you can see, they're getting nice and dark and everything like that. So now all I did is I just took through a little gray, just to break up the contrast. I took some gray to put in between the panel, but I left the metal plank kind of with the um, w with the uh, uh, lead belcher in there. So as you can see, you can do that. And you could just do little subtle things like little gray, a little um, a little copper piping and stuff like that. Uh, put little lights in there uh, like I did here and then here. Uh, here's where I did some little light thing with a little copper. You know, just to break up the, the color of how this is going to go. So the next thing we're going to use is a Necron dry compound to finish these guys off and I'm going to show you how this goes. This is a dry paint Okay, so when you look in it, it's It looks like mud. So I'm going to show you how to use this and uh, What we'll do is we'll take care of some of these guys with uh, That are dry So what you're going to do now is get this dry compound on, on, on your brush Kind of like I'm doing here and you can just stick your hand thing in there and you're going to wipe a good part of it off your brush. Okay, because we don't want a lot of it on the brush. It gets on there pretty good and you're just going to take it off. That's all we want to do. And then, and when I mean touch it very lightly, all we're going to do is take this alien because we don't want to lose that blue wash that's in there. And we just kind of want to just guide this over the tail just a hair just a bit there and on the side of the legs nice and easy just enough to kind of just get the top parts of of the, all this and that's all we want to do because the, the the wash really darkened them up but we want that silver highlight a bit so we're just going to work that in there a bit and then just very lightly over the head because you don't want to lose the blue. Around the mouth you can be a little more aggressive. Okay. But you can see we're not taking any of that, that nice blue in there. But we're just giving that silver, that kind of shine to them that they have. Because they're really kind of creepy and weird and Geiger and all that other stuff that they are. And do the same thing with this guy. Like I said, you don't have to go to this extent. You can just dry brush them. You don't have to, you can even just put the wash on them if you like. 
You can see I'm just very easily just working my brush in there nice and easy. Nothing more, nothing less. And getting it in there around the face, being a little more aggressive because we want the highlight right underneath that chin. But we want to keep that blue fade in there. And you can see how that fades back. And let's take this guy again with the tail. And just having this little bit on here goes a long way with painting these guys. Again, aggressive here. You can be aggressive in the chest area. As you can see here. Around the pipes. We want to keep... You just want to make sure that you're getting the top. So the, the higher points. You want that dark blue in there. And that's really going to give some contrast. So there you have it. I'm going to finish up the rest of these and get these ready for tomorrow's live playthrough. But that's pretty much it. There's not much to do. You can fancy up the bases any way you want a little bit more. I'll probably do that as well. But as far as the alien himself, that's exactly kind of right where we want him. Just that dark, mysterious foreboding, I'm going to eat you and tear you apart and have acid all over you and stuff kind of like that. So that's it for this Painting 101. Until next time, I'm Rob Orn, and we'll see you soon. Sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, videos, and written reviews by Gamers for Gamers. Miniature Market online gaming superstore. Thousands of games and minis. Discount prices. Check them out at MiniatureMarket.com.